Hey guys, it's ESFan001 here for another one of those Fallout Loot Crate unboxing videos. Uh, as stated in the 12th and 13th episodes, I don't know which crate this is, so you guys will because it'll be in the title of the video because I still don't have crates 10 and 11 at this exact moment in time unless this is either crate 10 or 11. So it's either crate 10, 11, or 14, which would be the next one. So let's take a look. All right, I think this actually, I'm looking for the thing in here. Okay, this is crate 14. So this is crate number 14. We have our pin. This is the creature's crate. So yeah, still waiting on those 10th and 11th uh, crates. So that is, of course, the animal friend perk. Uh, good perk to have if you want to make animals do all your work for you. So I actually think I'm going to like this already just because I see one of the items here. It's the Mothman. Oh, I freaking love the Mothman. I'm going to get him open. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I love this thing. Like, this looks so accurate to the Mothman. I actually have a pop figure for the Mothman. Ah, oh, this, is, this is an awesome item. I really, really like this figure. I mean, I like a lot of the figures, but this one is definitely one of my favorites because the Mothman is awesome. You guys know me. I have a Mothman shot glass. I went to the Mothman Museum in West Virginia. He's awesome. So, I really like this figure. So, let's see what else we got. I see what looks like... We get another pin? Oh, it's a keychain. Okay. Let's get this out of here. It is a Jangles the Moon Monkey keychain. I'm not quite sure if I'd call that standard, like what I think of as Fallout Creature, but I don't have a problem with that. That's actually kind of a nice little keychain. Not something I'd like wear around or anything because I don't really use keychains. I just have my keys on it and that's about it, but that's cool. Like, I like that a lot, and I apologize for the glare. I'm recording this in the middle of the day for once on a Saturday, so yeah. But definitely, definitely like that item. All right, next up we get our t-shirt. They're probably still... Oh, they did correct it down to large. Perfect, because ever since I lost weight, I have to use larges now. And we have a shirt containing what looks like basically caricatures of various creatures. We have... I'm assuming the leftmost one is Rad Roach, then that one might be some kind of bloat fly. Uh, then that is a Robo Brain, or that, no, that's not a Robo Brain, that's a Protectron, or something similar to that. You got a Rad Scorpion, a Yao Guai, a Super Mutant, and a Death Claw. Is there anything on the back? No, nah, nothing. Oh, wait, yeah. Fallout lo logo. All right, that's a cool shirt. Like, uh, I mean, I feel like it's got a lot of empty space. They probably could have had more on here than that, but it's still cool. I definitely like this shirt, and now that it's back to the regular size, I can actually wear it. Oh, man, there's another item down here before we open that. Astoundingly Awesome Tales, number 12, in like a mint condition type of container. Uh, I don't... No, if, oh, okay, I see what it is. It's uh, postcards. That's what it is. It's exactly what it is, postcards. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That's the kind of thing that would seem collectible. This is very uh, fitting because at the time this is being recorded, Call of the Wild just came out. So, I mean, I'm not going to go see it because I don't really care that much. I got enough other movies to see, but that's pretty cool. Like, I like that. And now it says we are getting a bonus item because they love us. I wonder if this is because I had to send them in a, uh, a complaint at one point about trying to get crates 10 and, 10 and 11, and if I'll ever get them. So it's some kind of extra Brotherhood of Steel. I thought it was just leftover stock from the first year when you got to build your own Brotherhood of Steel soldier. But no, this is actually, it's like a full thing. It feels higher quality, even like the gun feels higher quality. There's no dog on this one, which is fine, but it's stand 126. But yeah, that's, that's actually feels like a higher quality one. Maybe it's just me, but it's all one solid piece. So yeah, that's, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, guys, so now I'm just going to go ahead and get everything mounted here together so it can all be in view at once. 
Okay guys, I'm back and I gotta say this is a huge step up for Loot Crate. Like this is actually, I love this crate. This is one of my favorites that we've gotten so far. I mean, it's, it's by far the best of year three, like from crates, you know, 13 through 18. It's by far the best we've gotten here so far. And I think this is one of the best ones we've gotten overall. I mean, I love, maybe it's just because I love the Mothman, but I absolutely love the Mothman figure. The shirt's kind of cool. That one would actually be kind of fun to wear out and see what people think of it. Uh, this Brotherhood of Power, Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor figure is definitely better than the other one. So I like that one a lot, even though it doesn't have a dog, it feels sturdier, better put together. It's all one piece, so I definitely like that. The postcards are cool just because that's, you know, a kind of collector's item. Funny story about that. There was a Super Mario Sunshine Prima strategy guide I had years ago. And I mean, I still have it. And it actually came with like postcards from the game. Maybe it wasn't Prima, but whatever it was, it came with postcards. So I still have those. And I should actually see if I can sell those because I bet that they're kind of rare by now. And then, of course, the, uh, the pin is just, it's a pin as always, but I like the pins because they're always cool. They have little metal versions of the perks. And the Moon Monkey souvenir, I mean, that's, that's okay. I mean, that's sort of more of a filler, but I don't have a problem with it because it still looks cool. So definitely a huge step up for their crates. Uh, this is, like I said, one of the best ones we've gotten in a long time. So I absolutely love this one, unless 9 and 10 were, or unless 10 and 11 were really good. So yeah, absolutely love this one. Definitely one of my favorites. I will probably wear that t-shirt because that's cool. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you for the next Loot Crate.